I just got back from Gran Turismo. So, we got back. Yeah. So, let's start with the story and see how that goes through. So, this kid named Jan, I think it was named that guy, yeah, wants to become a racer, but only has experienced it through video games. True. Well, it's a real story. Yeah. For some reason. For, um, for some reason, well, it's a real story that they just made a movie, right? It's not like this story happened and then they made it a story. Did this story, like, really happen in real life? Yeah. No way. <laughs> I, I had a hard time believing that, but thanks for telling me that, so... Well, that's what a real story means. Yeah. The story, while it may seem like a simple coming-of-age story in the, in the style of, like, a pause of fury or something like that, but to my surprise, <clears throat> that's actually not the case. The action scenes, the point, the music, the whole story and the action really execute the movie in this ama in this amazing way that just makes it amazing. It is pretty, in an amazing way, it does make it amazing, well said. But, I do have, you know, criticism, yes, the comedy... <laughs> we heard it in the theater. The comedy that, like, not referencing to the, like, the songs, like the G songs, when they're not playing hilarious Kenny G, G songs... <laughs> The, the comedy can be pretty stale. Yeah, the comedy's pretty weak in this movie. Compare that to Sonic 2, which is hysterical. I thought the lead actor could have been a little more charismatic. I did not like when he talked or did anything. What do you think about the lead actor? Um, I thought all the actors did did a decent job, but yeah, I can see why you would dislike that. It was a weak main character. Like, he should be funny, we should care about him. Like, I didn't really care if he raced well or not. <laughs> I thought it was funny when he was angry at those, yeah. But, I'm not judging, but it's just that it's not the best lead acting role, but it's definitely not the worst lead acting role. Bye, Luke. Luke just left. Got something important up his sleeve. I don't think he's going to be in any more of these podcasts. Well, might be a special guest. But anyway, the visuals. Now, one thing I don't like about this movie is that there are a lot of product placements. Like YouTube, UPS. UPS is expected because it's a racing movie. But yeah, when they add, when I, when they do stuff like that, I just roll my eyes. I, I can't. So, yeah. Visuals are definitely really creative. I love the backgrounds. I love the action, the design of the cars. They're all really cool. Then there is also, of course, the... characters. Now, they don't give a good Thurston impression. I will say right now that the lead, Jan, he's, um, not... He does start off pretty... Odd. Like at the beginning, he be he's a little despicable, but once the competition gets underway, that's when I start to realize yeah. he can actually be a good character. Now the other characters, they remind me way too much of the movie Cars. Like the guy who helps him in the races reminds me a little too much of Doc Hudson. The way he, his backstory goes is. Completely Doc Hudson cloned. There's not a clear villain, which is a little sad, but yeah. And of course, there is also the other character. 
The cast is a little too bloated for me, but it's the voice acting that makes them good. Even if the lead is just a bit average compared to everyone else. So yeah, I was blown away by this movie. Sure, the characters may not be that good, but thanks to the great acting, visuals, story, action, yeah. This movie is certainly one of the best video game adaptations, better than the Mario movie if I'm being completely honest. Now, if you're a Gran Turismo fan, this is a must watch. Even for those who don't know the franchise, it's actually not a bad idea if you go see it. But trust me when I say that this movie is great. And besides, it could go uphill from here. What did you say? All the guest stars are just playing side characters for the Mighty Movie? WHY?!